So the first thing we need to do is check for um, an, a response. So we need to say if window dot and we need to say XML HTTP request. Okay, so uh, we're checking for uh, an XML HTTP request. If so, we do something, otherwise we do something else. And the rest of our code is going to go down here. So if so, then we're going to create a new variable called XML HTTP, and that's going to equal new XML HTTP request. And remember the parentheses at the end. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can use this XML HTTP to, uh, well, in the rest of our code. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say else, and this is going to handle it for different browsers. So for some browsers, this will be the case, and some uh, this will be the case. So you can say HTML access, uh, HTML, sorry, XML HTTP equals new. But this time we're going to create an active X object. And the reference here is um, microsoft.xmlhttp. Now, it's very important that you understand that everything I'm writing is case sensitive. So when I come to test this at the end of the tutorial, when we're finished writing out our code, you might find it, it hasn't worked for myself. So I'm going to have to go back and check. So I may have um, created maybe, um, I mean, with variable names, it obviously doesn't matter. But with things like this, it needs to be a capital XML, capital H, small TTP, and a capital R, and then the rest is small. So it has to be, it, well, it is case sensitive, so you need to watch out for that. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is check for a change of state. So we're going to create an if statement, and I'm going to say if... Um, Oh, no, I'm not. Sorry. No, no, I'm not checking this way. What I'm saying is XML HTTP dot and we're going to write on ready state change. So on ready state change. Now, we're going to equal this to a function. So this might be not this might not be something that you've seen before. We're equaling this to a function. And then what we're doing is we are creating the block for our function. So we're saying that on ready state change so when the state has changed we're going to perform what's in here we're going to perform the action in here okay so uh, on ready state change equals function so this is a function that we're going to um, create or run rather if um, our state has changed so now we need to do a couple of checks we need to check that the eight um, sorry xml http dot um, ready state is equal to four and we also need to check that the XML HTTP um, status is 200. So we just type status equals 200. Sorry, double equals there. Just pull this in as well. Okay, so if it does, we're going to continue. So this is just doing a couple of checks to make sure we've got correct codes being sent back. Um, and now inside of here, we need to do what we need to do. So what we essentially need to do is we need to check, um, or sorry, we need to insert some HTML data into this div tag. And by HTML data, this could be a PHP file because when we echo out hello, this is essentially HTML data. We can also read in, um, we can also read in uh, text files, uh, things like that to our div as well, but we're just gonna be focusing on PHP like I said. So now what we do is we say document, so we're referencing something on our document, and we're saying get element by ID. And getting element by ID takes an element from a page by its ID. Obviously, we've set an ID of a div to this div here. So in here, we can type a div. And then we're going to say dot inner and HTML in capitals, and we're going to equal this to XML HTTP dot response text so when we um, when we send a request here uh, up here we on a, on the uh, change of state we are checking the ready state and the status of the page to make sure it's not empty so this 200 here is making sure it's not empty and then we're getting the element a div and we are changing the inner HTML of this div down here and that's going to be the response text so now under here we need to send what we want to put into this we want to send what we want to put into our div essentially. So what we do is we say XML HTTP dot open. Now what we're doing is we're opening um, with get. So we're opening get, we're getting the data from the page, we're not posting anything, we just need to get the contents of this page. Um, and that is include.inc.php. 
Okay, so the last parameter is whether we are going to do this asynchronously. So we're just going to write true in here. And then underneath we write etch, sorry, XML HTTP dot send. So what this is essentially doing is it's taking the contents of this file here and we're placing it into this div using this line here. And when we send, this is going to be picked up here. So um, everything's working. Uh, hopefully working as it should be so let's go ahead and test this so what should happen is we click on the submit button we um, call this load function we check uh, depending on different browser types the um, XML HTTP request and um, put the valid um, the valid uh, instance of this into it we check for a state change here um, we check the ready state and the status so make sure the page doesn't return nothing and um, we get the element a div and put inside put some HTML inside of this and that's the response text from this and we're taking this value from here so we're we're sending the data uh, essentially straight to this div so let's go ahead and refresh this page and test to see if this works so what should happen is when I click submit we should have um, the value hello being um, being output underneath it because what we're essentially doing in include.index.include.ink.php is we're just echoing out hello so this should just echo out the content of our PHP page let's try and see if it works okay it's not working uh, there's a surprise so let's go um, let's go back through our page and just have a look at everything and check that everything's okay